everyone welcome back to my channel as most of you know today is release day for Joanna Bassford's worlds of wonder a coloring book for the curious and mine just got delivered on my doorstep a few minutes ago and so of course I had to come run up here to my office and grab my camera and I wanted to be able to do a flip through and review of this coloring book as I flipped through it for the first time myself so that is what we're going to do in this video. I am very excited to do this flip through with you all on camera because believe it or not, I've not actually watched any of the flip throughs yet. I've seen a little bit of the coloring that Joanna Bassford has done in it, but I've not actually flipped through the entire book. And it's very different watching a flip through online, at least for me it is than to actually have the book in my hand and be able to look at the artwork inside the book and actually see it and have it there. So I wanted to be able to do this flip through so those of you that were kind of debating whether or not you were going to order this one, I really don't know why you would because, I don't know, I've had this on pre-order for so long. <laughs> And all of us know that Joanna Bassford's books are one of the most popular ones out there. So we are going to go ahead and flip through this book. And I am going to share my reactions with you as I flip through like I always do on my flip through and review videos. So if you would like to see that, please do stick around for this video. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out a lot. And please do subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on if you have not already. We all know the front cover of this book is absolutely beautiful. I love the purple and I love the metallic lining all around here. It's just so, so pretty. And, I don't know, the front cover is gorgeous. It's got silver over here, like in this little cup that's being held up by the hot air balloon. It's just kind of like a silver metallic. And it has a little bit up here in the roof of this castle. And as always, we see lots of flowers and lots of leaves. You guys know those are my favorite things. But this coloring book is a little bit different, I think. So we're going to flip through it and we are going to see. Here we have the front page of the book. Oh my gosh, look at this artwork. I love it. I love how it's just so kind of cutesy, I guess, and whimsical at the same time. But we have this page here where we have just like the little tree and then a tent, like a circus tent and a mushroom and a cute little house. This house looks kind of sort of like what I colored in her um her advent calendar when I did that and then some books down here and this actually flips open and you can color the inside of the whole front cover. And we have our first page that is the title page that just says Worlds of Wonder on it. Then we have a welcome page and of course our this book belongs to page that you can color in and put your name in there if you wanted to. And as with all of her books over here we have a little introduction to you, the person holding this book. Firstly I must share something with you. This isn't just a book. Rather it's a magical portal of many wondrous worlds I know it looks like an ordinary coloring book, but what you hold in your hands is actually a doorway to adventure and travel beyond your wildest imaginings. Until recently, these magical books were kept hidden away by the secret society of curious colorists, but in recent months, copies have found their way to new adventure seekers, including you. Now you must choose. Do you put this book down and decline its invitation to adventure? Or do you turn the page and explore enchanted villages, floating islands, and treetop castles? Of course, we both know the answer. The book already chose you. It knows you are a curious and creative adventure seeker. So shall we begin? Hold tight and here we go. Much love, Joanna. Oh my gosh, I just love that. Love, love, love. And then over here on this page, it is a guide to exploring worlds of wonder. And I believe this is the same as many of her coloring books, but it says, take coloring pencils 
on your adventure. They can be blended and layered to create many wondrous effects. If you are tempted by ink, be cautious, bold explorer. Use the color palette test pages at the back of the book to check if your ink will bleed through the paper. Slip a sheet of two blank paper beneath the page you are working on to prevent indentation or transfer of ink to the pages below. Going outside the lines, adding your own embellishments, and wandering off the page are all heartily encouraged. Don't remain in a world if your curiosity is calling you elsewhere. Turn the page and begin a new adventure. You can return to worlds anytime you wish. Share your worlds with like-minded adventures. Show friends, upload to my coloring gallery, or share on social media with worlds of wonder. Well, hashtag worlds of wonder. The adventure continues to unlock hidden pages and join the secret society of curious colors. Visit joannabasford.com slash worlds of wonder. Oh, how neat. I'm going to have to go there and check it out. I've never actually gone on her website and looked through her coloring gallery. Look at the artwork in this book. It's just like a bunch of floating islands. Is that not so beautiful? And flowers and buildings over here on this page. And then elephant. Oh my gosh, elephants are one of my favorite things. If you guys just saw what I did for the new release of the uh, Color It coloring book, I showed you how to color an elephant using markers as a base and then doing all your shading and your shadowing and your highlights with your colored pencils. So if you have not seen that yet, I'll make sure that's linked in the upper right hand corner. But I love coloring elephants. And look at the balloons. Oh my gosh, you can get so creative with these. And then over here we have a house with a bird on top holding a key. And a page just full of buildings. And then over here we have two birds. Oh my gosh, I'm already I'm getting so many ideas and so much inspiration from these pages already. And then over here we have a castle. That kind of reminds me of the castle I did for the Joanna Basford Christmas coloring book where we did the castle in that book. But that one was a little bit more of a different idea because of course it was Christmas time and so we had a snow tutorial and I think I did how to color gold. If you've not seen that, I'll make sure that's linked in the upper right hand corner. But that was a great color along and it was a lot of fun for me to do. So here we have kind of like a mandala type page or like a patterned page of just flowers. And then we have a bike over here where the tires are filled with flowers. These are so pretty. Oh, look at the horse. This is so different than her normal style. I just love it though. Look at the bottles with the little buildings inside. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is actually a double page spread, but it looks like if you wanted to, you can just totally keep them separate because it's it looks like it's an underwater scene but it actually has the bottom of the ocean over here going all the way across the page making it a double page spread if you wanted to that's really neat how that was done because it kind of gives you options because I don't know guys I've never really done a double page spread before and so that would be a great one for me to start with because I don't know, sometimes double page spreads, even for me, would be so time consuming and I just figure by the time I get into it, I would lose a little bit of my inspiration for coloring the page and stop and have to go back to it much, much later. And so I just never start one. <laughs> but that would be a really good option for me because I could always come back and color the other page whenever I was ready or time allowed. So here we have a really cool looking fish with gears and stuff. Oh, that is so neat. I can imagine this fish over here on this page looking very steampunky with lots of golds and bronze and metallic type um, colors with your colored pencils. That would be really, really cool. Or even if you wanted to use gel pens. And then we have this page over here, which is a boat. And oh my gosh, look at 
the decoration in the water. That is so, so neat. I can just picture a whole bunch of different shades of blues. I would definitely use my Prisma colors because you guys know I love all of the blue options in my Prisma color set. Y'all know I'm always talking about that light blue in the Prisma color set because it's so hard when we buy these but more budget friendly sets to be able to find a light blue color. And so I'm always grabbing for that light blue in my Prisma color set. Look how cute this page is. Look at the little cakes and the bakery items and the candy canes. And then over here, oh, over here we just have a bunch of cakes. This one is so different. Look how, look at this cool cake. I could get really creative with that one. Oh my gosh, and then a cake here with donuts on top. <laughs> this is another double page spread. Lots of buildings. Look at the bakery with the little cake sign. I love the theme of this book. It's so creative and just whimsical and different from what she's previously done. I'm so excited to color in this. You guys know that's what you're gonna see next. <laughs> but I wanted to be able to flip through the book first and do this kind of quickly and then just do a really quick edit and get it up for y'all. Oh, here we have where we can color water. That could be a water tutorial. That's really, really neat. And that one wouldn't take that long because it's kind of a small area of water. So if you look at this page, you'll see why I absolutely love Joanna Basford's books. And for me, this is why I keep uh, more than one copy. I have more than one copy of all of her books and I'm probably going to go right today and order a second copy of this one after I've looked at it and I just, oh I love this book. It may even be my new favorite. You guys all know that World of Flowers is my absolute favorite, favorite book and I have so many tutorials on my channel showing you that book but there are still flowers in this one and there's so many just different things that Joanna Basford doesn't usually do. And I just love that. But if you look at this page, this is why I love these books so much because there's just small objects that I could use to show you all how to color certain things. Like here we have some berries. What are those? Probably grapes. And I could do a tutorial for those. So that is really, really cool. Over here we have a strawberry. And so that could be another tutorial. Here we have a pumpkin, and I just love that there are just so many different little images, and there's pages like that just kind of sporadically throughout her books. And then we have a bee. And then over here we have what looks, oh my gosh. This one here, I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at the brick on this part of the building. And to me, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I want to make that look like a log cabin, which would be super, super cool. Of course, I would have to draw a lot in to be able to do that. But I am getting so much inspiration from the artwork in this book. So many ideas. Just look at these gorgeous pages. And then this looks kind of like what we see in the previous Joanna books. So we've got some of that sprinkled in and then we've got other things that are much different than what we would usually see. So here we have a little, that looks more like a teepee than a tent, right? I love it. Oh, look at this one. I love globes. Like I've colored a few globes and I love doing them because I love coming back and just making it look as though it's a globe and using my white Posca and my darker shades and creating more shadows just to kind of really make it look like it pops off the page. And I do have a couple tutorials of that on my channel if you're interested. Oh, look at the bed with the star up there. It almost looks like a, well, I guess it would be a floating bed. Look at the stars look like they're moving. This is just so different. I love this book. Here we have a hot air balloon. And then we have a plane with a bunch of just whimsical patterns. 
coming out of the back of the plane. That's a really easy two page spread. That page is perfect for those of you that are like me and a little bit intimidated by the two page spreads. Here we have, oh gosh, see, and this is another reason why I love her books. If I just wanted to come in here and do one tutorial and show you how to color a bird, I've got one very small area that just has a bird and some leaves and it's just, it wouldn't take that long to color. I love her page in, I think it's World of Flowers, I think, where she just has a bunch of bugs on a page and I use those pages just to test out my pencils and see how they look so that way I've got everything all on one page so that I can you know do a comparison where I'm looking at my colored pencils just kind of side by side and I could see how they've blended you know on this paper and just how everything comes together at the end and then here would be the same thing where we've got just these little houses that have flowers behind them and then we have another floating island. On this side of the page we have some flamingos. There's a lot of pages in this book. Here we have an owl sitting on top of a house. And look at this tree with like a city inside of it. That is so creative. And then here we have a mushroom. Now see, this looks like a lot like what we may have seen before. So some of those things are kind of just, as I said earlier, sporadically just kind of filled in throughout the book. And then here we have another page, the ones that I love with all the little images on it. Those are just great pages to test out your colored pencils. When you get a new set of pencils and you wanna just kind of practice with them, those pages are great for that. So here we have a bunch of fish with castles. So here we have a castle that is all the way up high on what looks like a mountain and then the mountain is kind of underwater. And then look at this gorgeous page. Wow. And again, this can be a double page spread or not be a double page spread. I guess you could do it either way you wanted to, but does anybody ever look at her books and wonder how long it actually took her to sit there and draw all of this out? And it's just, it's so intricate and there's so many little details. And then here we have another mandala type page with a bunch of flowers or a pattern. And then over here, this is really neat. We've got all these individual little patterns all throughout the page. I love the artwork in here. Now see, this one looks a little like something we may have seen before. That's so pretty. And that gives you a lot of space to practice your, your uh, backgrounds as well. And then over here we have a butterfly. You and here we have another pattern type circle with some strawberries and some flowers. And then we have a cat. Oh, I love how this cat just kind of has all these decorations on top of her. And yes, I said her because that cat definitely looks like a she. <laughs> oh, look at this one, another double page spread. This is beautiful. Here's another page where we just have a bunch of little individual pictures that we could practice our colored pencils or other mediums on. And they're all just little sweet treats, which is really cute. Oh, and look at this bus. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> look at the cat resting up there. And then we have another castle with a bunch of flowers underneath, how pretty. And then what looks to be kind of like a wreath type of picture, that's really pretty. And then here we have a bunch of buildings. Oh, I love this. And then we have a house being carried up, carried up by um, 
the hot air balloons. How many of you are looking at this page and thinking it was inspired by the movie Up? I think it probably was. I love how she drew these clouds in. And then a camel. Oh, I've never seen that in any of her books. I love that. And then we have more castles. And another bus. Oh, look at all the stamps. Now we have a page with a bunch of mushrooms on it. Oh, and then another page with a bunch of mushrooms. Little mushroom houses. <laughs> I just noticed that. That's so cute. And then another what looks to be like a floating island. And then what do we have over here? Oh, look at this tree that has a little house or a little door to enter the inside of the tree. And then a castle on top of it. That is so pretty. And then we have another ocean scene. I love all the little fish. Look at all of the intricate detail in this. But then you still have a whole lot of background space to practice your backgrounds. And I don't know, if I was coloring this page, I would make the background really stand off from the actual picture and just kind of make the actual artwork pop off of the page. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> it's like a boat inside a fishbowl. <laughs> and then over here we have more buildings. And then we have a page with lots of butterflies and it looks like I don't know, are those rainbows? And then we have our color palette test page. That's what um, she was talking about in the beginning of the book where if you want to test your media, don't take them immediately to your page, but go to the color palette test page and test out your colored pencils. And she gives you a front and back of that page. So you get two pages to test out. And I don't know, for me, I don't really like to do that inside my book. I like to do that off to the side on paper because I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I do that. I just don't. I guess I don't want to mess up my book. <laughs> and then we have this back flap here that has really pretty artwork on it. And it opens up like so. And then on the back, it shows all of her other books that are available. And then here we just have the back cover of the book. And I guess, I would guess if you wanted to color this in, you probably could. But that is my flip through and a little bit of a review. I guess it was more like my reactions to the book, but I love this book. I am so thrilled by this book and cannot wait to start coloring in it. There will definitely be some videos to follow where I am coloring in this book. I definitely have plans, so stick around for that. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel and you want to see me coloring in this book, please do subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. And I will have the link down in the description box below if you would like to purchase this coloring book for yourself. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.